Drunk Deer keyboards have added a new feature or set of features to their keyboards. It's known by many names, all of which are stupid. Rappy Snappy, Rapid Trigger Plus, Snap Tap. Now, I'm not going into details about how it works, but I'm going to show you how to install it onto your Drunk Deer keyboard. And of course, a disclaimer is that in many games, including Osu, this is disallowed and cheating. Furthermore, it's extremely obvious if you do use it, so don't plan on doing that. All of the links and resources that I refer to will be left in the description of this video. The first one you want to click is the invite link to the Drunk Deer Discord server. And if I'm honest, you can probably figure out the rest of this whole video just from looking around in that server. But I'll go through it very briefly because I've not seen anyone do this yet. Once you're in the server, it should be very easy to find the channel, name something related to drivers or updates or firmware. This update only came out today, so there's a chance these links change, which is why I'm just linking you to the Discord rather than these links themselves. So instruction number one has a link directing to this page where we can upgrade our firmware. Click this and it will download a zip folder for us. So this is the folder that I've downloaded, unzipped and renamed. I like to save all the versions of the firmware that I've ever used. So we've just follow the folder structure through. We'll get to firmwareupgrade.exe. We can run this. Uh, it's an exe file. It's your choice to run it. I'm not responsible for the lurgy malware planted there by drunk disk spies. Your keyboard will either be automatically detected or the model of it you'll have to select yourself. Then fairly obviously we click firmware upgrade. Do not unplug your keyboard while this is happening or it will brick it and you'll have to contact uh, professionals to fix it. And there we go. We can safely close this uh, once everything has been reset. And back onto this link, we can now press the connect your keyboard button and it will bring up this menu where we can select our keyboard and boom, the driver is loaded. If it's not in English, uh, then it's this button up here. And I also assume you're already familiar with rapid trigger settings. The new ones are accessed through this link here. Uh, you must have rapid trigger enabled to use them. You can read about what each setting does here. So in order to use this setting, we just want to enable it and it works with pairs of keys. Uh, so we click add group, uh, then click on this. And then let's say I want A and D added to one group and also W and S to another. Then I can just save these settings to my keyboard up here. I have a virtual model of my keyboard uh, showing what keys are being pressed. If I hold A down and then I tap D, uh, you can see that only one of them will be pressed. The feature is working. The other feature is used fairly similarly. We just enable it. Then we can choose what key we want to press and then what key we want to be activated on release. Then please save it uh, and save it once again. Uh, now if I press F and release, G will be pressed. Once again, both of these settings are bannable in OSU, do not use it, as well as many other games. As I said before, if you're having issues, the Discord is the place to ask. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.